welcome back to my channel here in this video i will be doing a 2022 nail desk tour and i'm very very excited to be showing you guys my nail space as you could see so if you're new to my channel my name is jess and i do types of nail videos like i said here in this video i will be doing a nail desk tour of my nail area and also if you're new to my channel do not forget to subscribe do not forget to turn on the bell so that way you can notify to my upload and also do not forget to check down below in the description for any of my social media as well as any discount codes that i have available also do not forget to check out my last video which will also be linked down below as well as any video that is throughout this one make sure to go check it out as well and let's get on to showing you guys my little nail area okay so to get started first i want to show you guys like a client's view so to start off here i have my client chair which i will make sure to link down below um like my furniture and stuff if you guys are interested like my ring light and stuff i will make sure to link it down below so make sure to go check it out if you guys haven't or if you guys are interested in any of the products that i have here so my client chair is just a black chair which let me tell you guys something i have been wanting to change out my client chair because i feel like they move a lot since it does spin so definitely comment down below or send me a dm if you guys know of like a good client chair so help your girl out so yeah i just have this black client chair here i have my table which this is a client's view if anybody's wondering or whatever the case may be once they're sitting or whatever but this is my table which as you can see it's it's been through some things with me so so to start off here is just my armrest which obviously whenever i do have clients and stuff i have everything set up which um definitely comment down below if you guys want to see a video specifically on that on like how to set up and um that kind of video i have, haven't really seen anything like that so make sure to comment down below if that's something you guys would want to see here i just have these packages that i actually need to take to the post office so don't mind this this is never here so it's just here for now just so i don't forget in here i do have my business cards and it does have like my number and stuff so i just don't want you guys to obviously see that so i'm just gonna Flip them, which as you can see, they do have also my Instagram and my YouTube. So make sure to go follow my Instagram. The link is always linked down below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. So just have my business cards here and here. Then I have this little like clear basket container. And I have all my swatches of all of my acrylics and foils. And um, yeah, just acrylics and foils is what I have here. So we have like my pinks we have foils i have like designer foils i have everything separated by color and by um tones i also have the glitters here somewhere and my blues my greens my color changing acrylics i have more foils there so just a mixture of glitters acrylics and foils and then here i do have where i keep my just my remote for my tv and then here i did actually get this new nail lamp which i'm really really excited because i have been loving so i will make sure to link it down below if anybody's interested here i just have a little thing of germex some hand sanitizer you know to keep clean and then here obviously we do have my ring light so this is what it looks like and then here i just try to keep the cords like not here like we're you put your feet you know because i don't want nobody to trip or anything like that so this is what this looks like and then i just have a little a uh, wall smelly thing i forgot what these are called but have one of those as well and then moving back here i do have just my trash can and then here i have this little container with um just like my everyday nail necessities so i have like dust brushes scissors i have exacto knife sharpie um box cutters i have lighter i have scissors tweezers sharpies more brushes and then more scissors and then yeah that's just really all i have here so this is what it looks like it's just like a little clear organizer for like pens pencils for your desk whatever so i just keep that here and here is my side of obviously my nail area so i do have quite a bit of space which we love so here i do have my chair which i also do have this back thingy that i got for christmas and honestly i don't know what to do with it so i just put it here for now i don't know 
I don't know. I just left it there. It's not going to stay there, but it's just there for now. So that's what that is. Um, it helps like with your back and stuff because you guys know nail tech life or whatever. But then here is my side of the table. So then here I have a little bit of a client's view that I could show you. But here in this first drawer, I do have my nail tech stuff. So here I have napkins. I have... um. The little dental bibs that i place and then here i have gloves i have my cotton pads i have my drills here as you could see um i do have these two here that i use and then here in this drawer oh my god you guys i need to get some like um some type of tape or velcro and i need to like put this string like attached to the table because it's like bugging me but that's something that I definitely need to do, so don't mind that. But here in this first drawer, I keep my nail tips and I keep more of my everyday things. So I have fine signing bands, I have glue, I have my drill bits. Here, this one's like a little random, so I have like brushes, I have some more drill bits, um, the stoppers, and then I have glue. And then back here, back here I just have some more little um, hand sanitizers that I actually got recently. So I just put those back there just in case if... I ever run out of that one i just have some right here for backup and then here i have the tips that i mostly use so i have these in natural and then i have my bell's beauty supply tips so we'll make sure to shop i will have a link down below if anybody's interested these are the only tips that i honestly ever use those are the tips that i have on right now and also if you guys haven't checked out my new year's nails make sure to go check it out this is what they ended up looking like and yeah look at that shine but anywho this is my first drawer moving on to the next drawer and this drawer i have more of my everyday needs so in this container i have scissors i have no clippers i have wax pencils i have like the little forms and then i also do have nail sharpeners i have the little file for um like my nippers if they need to be sharpened i have more forms and then here i have like a little um bandage tape that i use for my fingers i have more scissors i have the bigger cuticle nippers for removing bling. I have more nail sharpeners. Back here, I do have um, this little, like, it's like a little first aid kit in case, like, you know, whatever, anything like that happens. I have my little receipt book in case a client needs receipts. And then here, in this clear, longer container, I keep all of my nail brushes. I also have, like, wax pencils. I have gel brushes in here. I have liner brushes acrylic brushes all that good stuff i just have it in here i use everything in here so this is everything that i have in here here in this next drawer i do have all of my implements so everything that's clean is in here and then i do have this clear container for any of my dirty implements this is where they go so i already have everything packaged and ready to go and then this is this drawer in this next drawer i do have as you can see more tips so these tips i don't really like use unless i'm doing really short nails or doing something more specific like almond shape or something like that i like to use these and then here i do have like backup files backup buffers in case i need to file something real quick or buff it out i have it here to go and here as you can see i do have like two more little slots so in here i just have my exo no tips so like the big long stiletto no tips so i have them in clear and natural and then here next to it i do have this box which is where i keep my backup um primers so they're just in here chilling and i keep them in there because it's nice and handy they don't take up too much room or anything like that so those are there and then here in this last one i do have more backup stuff so in this container i kind of just keep like anything backup so i do have like backup sanding bags i have glues i have extra no clipper scissors files here i have my backup drill bits so i have like a little collection of different types of drill bits and then this one's empty and then here i do have backup brushes so i have like a bunch of acrylic brushes that i need to use that i need to try so i think soon i am definitely going to open up a new one so definitely comment down below which one you think i should open i have a number 12 glamour brush i have a number 12 oh no number 10 panda brush which i have been wanting to try and then recently i got this one from my box swap that i did with um another 
person here on YouTube. So make sure to go check it out if you guys haven't. And this is what she gets to me. So shout out to Myra. And definitely comment down below which one out of these three I should try out next. I definitely need your guys' opinions. So definitely make sure to leave down below a comment of what you guys think I should try out. And this is everything here left here my desk for the most part that is everything here that i have my nail desk and then over here at the side i do want to show you guys real quick here is where i keep my nail lamp so obviously right now it's charging and then here is like more if you guys want to see like what my cords look like i don't know but that's just that like my electronic stuff and then here i do keep my two extra chargers for my drills so i just keep them here just because it's easy at hand i could just get them and plug them in um because i did used to have them in the drawer and then sometimes it would be kind of a pain in the butt because they would be all the way in the back so yeah here i just leave my charges here and then here moving on to my carts and my little table and my walls i am going to be showing you guys the rest of my nail area so then here i do kind of still want to show you guys this little part of my nail area that i have because it is my nail area so just to show you guys real quick down here i do have my big thing of gels that i was talking about whenever i was doing my organization video so this is the big thing of gels that i had so in here i have like a hundred more gels i don't know but these are the born pretty collection and then this box i do keep like keepsakes of some nail items which actually i will be doing a video on this soon so make sure to comment down below if you guys would want to see that and then here i do have this white basket that in here right now i only have this bag and this just keeps um after i'm done using the paper towels from the monomer i keep it in the ziploc bag because it also does help with the smell so if anybody's having an issue with like the smell and such i definitely recommend for you to get like a plastic bag like this this is just like a little um with those zip up bags and i just put them in there so that way if you guys throw it away in the trash obviously it's still kind of gonna have a smell so i just put it in a bag and you know it's tight closed so it does help with the smell and then here i do have my a press um stuff so i have like the nail tips and like all the products in here and then here i do have my little camera stand whenever i do record my videos this is what i use and then here on the side i don't know if you guys can quite tell but here i keep um my color books so so these two are from the born pretty collections that i have so these are the color books that came with it and then here i also do have this little sign that i will be doing something with so i just have it there for now because that's something that i need to do but then here moving on to the table part i just have my little controller right here to the side and then here i have these two containers so this one holds my little lysol and then just my little lysol wipes and then this top one holds, I have acetone, I have alcohol, my brush cleaner, napkins, I have my nail glue dryers, I have um, some bottle sprays as well as some bottle pumps in case I need them. Here next to it, I do have my air purifier, which I also did get as a present for Christmas, which shout out to my tia. I definitely kind of see a difference, which definitely comment down below if you guys would want to see a video on this. Um like just reviewing it and telling you guys how i like it so so far so good but this is the brand if anybody's wondering and then back here i just have like some little candles some more um napkins and then this case that i it's just there and then here moving on to my cart this is what it looks like so it is two cards separately and then i just put them together with the little um I want to say these are called zip ties i'm not too sure but this is what my cards look like so starting off here at the top i do have my little phone stand i have my little um cover thing for the table and then here we have this little like um dapping dish that i got from ceci in a box top which shout out to her but as you can see i did already kind of break it so it's just kind of there in case i need it for like some cute videos or whatever and then here is the other cart and then on this one i do keep like my liquid so here i have my monomer i have my brush cleaner i have some more monomers swipe and then here i have my clean dapping dishes and this is just what it looks like and i do keep a little dental bib as well as the little placement so that way it doesn't make a mess in case i spill or if it gets like um like sticky or icky whatever it has this to protect it so now moving on to the drawers this is what my cart looks like once again so i will be starting off with this side 
so starting off in this first drawer in this first drawer i keep first off here in this container i have gels so this is where i keep most of like my pot gels so i have like um disco spider gels i have um young nails i have savvy land i have a bunch of different brands in here luminary magic lisa khan i have um wildflowers i have Milady Susie. just a bunch of different brands in here and then here moving on to the back here i do have my solar dust um colors that i do definitely need to do i need to use these because i still haven't used them which i really do need to use them because i do want to start creating more nail art and then here i do have their um liquid crystal and then here i have these little zodiac um stampers this is just what they look like and then here i have my little ready um palette that i love using whenever i do nail art so that's just in there and then back here i do have another container with um my dulce nail sprinkles glue gel that i love using and then i do also have this other gel but i've never used it i'm not exactly sure what it even is but it's just there chilling here i have an led light and then i also do have a little stamper paint and then here i have a stamper and then here i have some molds to create just a bunch of different random stuff so this is this first drawer moving on to the second drawer i do have some bling so in here i have my regular crystals so i have these i have some little flower charms as well as my preciosa crystals here i have like the really cheap crystals and then here i have pixies back here as well as in this, this container and then in this one i have my colored crystals with some shapes and raviolis and then here i have my blue crystals with their shapes and crystals as well here moving on to my third drawer i have starting my swarovski collection so here i have like charms i have um more charms i also do have my i have my swarovski crystal um no mat i have my swarovski crystals in here as well as in here and here i have like my bigger shapes and stuff and then in this one i have my ss30s i have um this little container with a bunch of random ones that i need to organize that's mostly what's in here is just crystals i need to organize that are ab and then in here i have my ab shapes as you could see and then back here i like i said i need to organize all of these so these are all swarovski and that i've been organizing in this container which i recently stopped but here i have more of those swarovski charms so it's just like a little bunch of Swarovski in this third drawer here moving on to my fourth drawer i have all a lot most of my nail sequins so in here i have just a bunch so back here in this first container i have like leaves i have like bows i have stars i have um just a bunch of nail sequins i have like a little playboy i have um Winnie the Pooh, I have some that go on the dark as well, I have lips, I have um, the LV ones, I have hearts, I have little skulls, just a bunch of random ones in this one. In here I have most of my gold ones, so like um, the designer ones, I have like some here in some packaging still, I have like stars, I have hearts, butterflies, letters, um, butterflies, what else did I say, um designer ones i have like words and stuff here in this third one is where i keep like my snowflakes my hearts i have butterflies i also have um just like a bunch of different colors and like different sizing so that's just kind of what this one is and then here i have more snowflakes more snowflakes and then here i do have some random ones like in a pot i have like those i have like little bats that i recently got i have like these little hearts and silver i have like the little candy um beads i forgot what those are called and then here i have all the ones that i have in like containers like this so this first one i have like some neon butterflies i have um like the new style of butterflies in colors i have the gold um zodiac signs and this is what these look like i also do have um like this colorful mix of like hard stars um flowers butterflies stars just a bunch of random ones here i do have my little colorful little stars and then here in this next one i do have um like lips and then here in these last two i have 
the leaves and then i have more stars as well in different colors and then here in this back one i do have more random ones so i have like these and like pink and blue in different shapes here i have like little mickey mouse heads i have like the little halloween mixes i have this like holographic mix as well with like a bunch of more random stuff so this one has like little music notes it has little moons diamonds little unicorns butterflies hearts little polka dots this one is another christmas mix that i have here and then this is another of the butterflies in like more different colors and then this last one is just a bunch of different colored hearts and here in this fifth drawer here's where i keep most of like my storage and like kind of stuff that i need for like um designs and stuff so here i have like my little glitter tray here i have like um another tray i have like little coffee spoons i have little um tiles i have um spoons i have my stella little swatch sticks i have my palette here i have my little um no clipper which actually i need to get more swatch sticks of like the little regular square ones so that's why this one's empty here i have my little note palette ring which definitely make sure to go shop those beauty supply so make sure to use my code so that we you guys can go ahead and save some money and then here in this other container you have like all my dotting tools brushes i have tiles scissors um little scrapers gel mixers um gel brushes i have a little like a little funnel i have um just a bunch of random stuff so i have like more exacto knives i have droppers i have like black sponges down there and then here back here i do have like um these trays so these i use for like glitter and such here i have my um 3d cat eye magnets here i have like more trays i have more of those little swatches so that way i can do designs i have like more storage baggies that i've gotten here i have like my little cutters that i never use but i do have them you know just in case um for whatever reason so yeah and then back there i don't feel the tea but i also do have a mat and then obviously more of those little spoons but this is this fifth drawer moving on to my sixth drawer here in this drawer it's kind of very random but in this drawer i just keep um like here i have all my caviar beads here i have my chains here i have more chains on the side as well as like my little no piercing tool here are like more beads and mixes that i have and then here in this one i have all of my little metal um rivets so i have just a whole bunch in silver and gold and rose gold so i have like the moons like all the little um different shapes i have like the moons the seashells all that good stuff i just have it in here and then back here i do have those little like iridescent um beads as well as the shapes so that's just what's there and then back here i do have this container as well as some more regular crystals so here's where i keep my little stash of regular crystals and stuff in case i need to get backups and this is this drawer here in this next drawer i have more nail art so here i just have in this first compartment i have my dried flowers and here i have some more down there as well and then in this one i have all of my foils so i have the gold silver all the other colors and then here in this other one i have all of my pigments and my chromes as well as my little eyeshadow applicators so that way they're easy at reach so just all those here and then here in this backup one i have just like some little foil i have my little um my little wedges i have also my liner tapes so back here i have all of my colors that i have as well as i do have beauty blenders in there because i sometimes do use them for like chromes and stuff so that's just what's in this drawer and this next one is where i keep all of my foils so in here i just have literally all of my foils so i have like all the different kinds of foils that i have in this container i have like all of my scraps and then in here like i did mention i have like all of them here organized so if you guys want to see how i organize this make sure to go check out that video and then here i do have my paper clips so that's this drawer in this next drawer i have just a little empty container i have my little females in here so that's just what's in here and then back here i do have my airbrush machine which i definitely need to use and do a video on but that's just what's in this one and then last but not least in my last drawer i do have all of my nail decals so here are just some that i need to organize into my little binder but as you can see this is already so full i need to find a new storage solution for this so definitely comment down below some ideas if you guys have any but here's just where i have my nail decals at the moment and then here moving on to the middle slot in here i have 
In this first drawer, I have all of my regular crystals and charms. So here I have my green ones. I have my regular brown ones. I have shapes. I have charms in this one. And then I have more charms in that one. And then in this bottom one, I also do have more charms as well. And this is this first drawer. Here in this next drawer, I have everything glitter. So anything that's loose. Um, I do have a couple of like glitter acrylics in here. But for the most part, it's just loose glitter. So like... Here is one that I have. I have like a couple, but other than that, it's just loose glitter. Whether it's in like little containers like this or back here. And then in this back part, I also do my layers so like this. I have all of these back here as well. As well as down here, just a bunch of different random ones. Whether it's color or different sized glitter. And then here I do have this container full of glitter as well. All of my fine and this is my glitter drawer in this next drawer i have the rest of my swarovski so in here i have like my two containers of shapes and then down there i have like my colors so i do have quite a, a couple containers of my colored crystals and then here i do have like some randoms and then here i also do have my swarovski pixie and then in this container i do have like all of my backups so anything like burger packaging or just some backup in general is in here in this next drawer all i have is dental bibs and last but not least in this drawer is where i keep the rest of my tips whether it's um tips or press on tips bag tips refill tips it's in here so i just have boxes on boxes and baggies back here so that's this last drawer and then here moving on to my last Cards I do have in this first one. I have like post-it notes, I have um sharpies, pens, and stuff. So in here I have like more like personal stuff and like for my business and stuff like that for YouTube. So that's what's in here. Here in this next drawer, I have acrylic. So in here I have like me and secret, I have Valentino and Young Nails, as well as my one and only Hey Beautiful as well. So make sure to use my code when shopping with Hey Beautiful. And then in here it's mostly just like neutrals, and then back there I do have this easy flow one but in here it's just mostly like neutrals that i use constantly so i have these here here in this next drawer i just keep my swatches so these are all of my gel swatches and then back here i do have some of my little heart swatches that i recently got because i wasn't really sure what to do with them because i still need to um put the other ones in here so i just have those in here for now here moving on to this next drawer i have all of my refill tips for my bills beauty supply so i have a spot just for them so this is them here in clear so i also do need to get more of these boxes so that way i can fill up the rest of my numbers here in this next drawer i have um just stuff that i want to do videos on so that's just kind of what's in here and maybe that's what this drawer is going to be for i'm not too sure yet but that's what's in here for now so i have like just some things that i want to report and stuff and then back here i do have some more tips as well and here in this drawer as you can see it's kind of like tight and stuck but here in this first container i have my black gloves and then here in this other one i have my black um or just like my face mask so that's these are these two drawers and obviously that one's stuck because there's a whole bunch of stuff in there here in this next drawer i do have just some more dental bibs and then i have this container with my hand my finger my little mini nail lamp it's cord and then just this snow drill here in this next drawer i have all of my cotton pad things that i've gotten i just put them in here because i did have this empty drawer so i was like why not might as well put them in here so i just have all those in here and then here in this next drawer i have all of my press on stuff in here so i have like my tack i have um, my glue more tack i have more glue tape and then i have like my stands it's like a set i was working on and then you have like all my alcohol wipes cuticle pushers i have files more files and then in here i have more of my stands and files as well and then last but not least in this drawer i obviously have more tips so in here i have like forms i have um my extendable tips i have like curved tips i have nail tips i have um tips with like the design i have forms i have a bunch of forms down here as well as well as like more press on tips so let's just look in here just more tips and stuff like that and then i also do want to show you guys here right here at the side i just have these little mats that i sometimes use when working so it's just little table mats that i got so those are just there randomly 
and then i do want to show you guys down here i do have this tray as well as like just some little stampers that i have down there as well and then here moving on back to the top so i just want to show you guys what's on my wall so here in this first wall i do have my wall of acrylics and i just want to show you guys real quick so starting up at the top i do have that little jar and in that one i keep like all of my um my nail design tips that i've done like within time of me doing nails so they're just in there here i have this little like board with like my name i have like some two dollar bills and like um a picture and then here i just have some little like decorations i have my little bead hand and I do have a picture of me and my grandpa and then here i have um a little colombian dollar that one of my clients gave to me actually so shout out to her and then here in this first drawer here i have my glow and dark so those are just there here i have this little thing with like some personal stuff in it and then here in this box i do have um some nail tips which if you guys are og you guys remember the nail boxy old boxes and yeah in here i just have more of those um nail tip design swatches that i've done within time so that's exactly what's in that black container so here i have this one full of it so it's just kind of just there and then up here i do have these three little fingers and then here in this next one i do have my vanessa nails acrylic so here i have her glow in the dark collection and then here i have mood collection here in this container i just have cotton balls and then here i have my little hand with like the different nail shapes which i actually need to update these are shapes that i did whenever i first started and this is what they look like so definitely make sure to comment down below if that's something you guys would want to see and i also do have another little finger up here with my little um marble design that i did when i first started doing youtube so i still have it here in this finger definitely make sure to comment down below if you guys want to see an updated one and then here i have all of my jewels in the art shop um acrylics so here i just have some of them this is not all of her acrylics that i have but it, here are just some and then here i do have some of my nose by Sati ones these are her glitter acrylics so those are just there and then here moving on to the actual rose i have the rest of my acrylics so just to show you guys real quick i do have them in like color order so I have like reds i have oranges i have like melon colors yellows and then i have um like mints greens darker greens going into teals into blues into purples into pinks into browns into nudes whites blacks gray last bottom row i do have all of my glitter acrylics so for the most part these are all of my glitter acrylics so that's just this last row here and this is what this wall looks like my wall of acrylics and like i did mention if you guys want to know where i got everything from i do have a mixture of different brands so i have like glam and glitz i have an else by glamour vanessa nails i have juices in the art shop i have both beauty supply the flow i have double dip i have not polish i have young nails i have um i joe i have nails by safi i have model ones Wapisima. i have glamisita i have tammy taylor i have just a bunch of different brands so that's just mostly what's here so this is what it looks like here moving on to my wall of gels this is what it looks like here so if you guys haven't checked out my recent organization video make sure to go check it out if you guys haven't but to start off here i do have this first shelf of gels so starting off here at the top here i have all of my madame glam gels so i just have them in color order and this is all of my madame glam and then here in this next row i have all of my new addict as you could see and then here in this third, I have a bunch of mixture of brands. So to start off here in the back, I have like Easy Glow, I have Macar, I have um, Nail Boxy, I have Libra, I have Magic, I have Daily Charm, I have Dynamic, I have Eno Couture, Lisa Khan, I have NTLA, Gaudi d, &D. I have Nail House, I have Valentino, back there I have um, some more Easy Flow, and then I also do have um, Bio Seaweed back there and then i have like um this new brand that i recently got which is water world and i have been loving their colors so i maybe will get more of those i'm not too sure and then here i have my benelisa and then down there i have my dulce nail sprinkles and then here moving on to the next row i have a lot a lot of born pretty so this is the born pretty collection of their color chart 
of their color coat so this is just all of the colors that i have so this is what they look like and then this next row i have you share i have all of my melody Susie. i have this born pretty collection and then here i have the rest of my gels which are i method as you can see and then last but not least in this last drawer i have my primer i have my most used acrylic so i have my clear white and nude covered nude blush from me a secret here i do have this extra container in case i need to put a lot of something in here i have a little dapping dish i have my little gels so i have like a builder gel and then this another builder gel and then here i have all of my cuticle oils so this is what i need to use up so this is just what's here moving on to my next shelf i do have my glow in the dark gels up there i do have these savvy Land gels here i have this little random um dehydrator that i've had for so long which i don't use i just keep it up there here i have my backup activators here i have foil glue i have my backup blooming gel here i have some backup glue as well and then here i have all of my top coats that i haven't used yet so this is what i need to use up and then here i have my base coats here i have primers here i have um dehydrators mats so this is what's mats and then here in this next row, I have just some builder in a bottle. So that's just what's there. And then here I have these regular polish that I don't use at all. But they're just here. And then down here, I have my marble ink. So these are just my inks to do marble and stuff. Here in this next row, it's just empty. But here I do have um, some things that I'm, that I'm working on. So that's just there. And then here in this last one is stuff that I use daily. So I have like my glue, liquid septic. I have my blooming gel, no foil glue, keto oil that I'm currently using. And then the current top coat and base coat and matte top coat that I'm currently using here. And then back here, I just have my current activator that I'm using. And this is what my nail area looks like. And I do want to show you guys one more space that I want to show you guys real quick. Okay, so then here I do have this little space that I also do keep some nail stuff. So I do want to show you guys real quick. I'm not going to show you guys everything because it is quite a mess because some of it it's not nail related so i just want to show you guys what is nail related so first here in this first little organizer i have files i have um buffers i have cotton pads i have um the little sterilizing pouches i have more files and then down here i just have a whole bunch of buffers as you can see And then here in this other little organizer thing is where I keep my like stuff that's more in bulk that I don't want to keep over there. So I have like my clear, I have monomer, I have some more um, acrylic powders in here. So I have like my big thing of pink, I have um, more monomers in here, I have my little funnels, I have my little more liquid containers, I have like my big thing of nude, my big thing of clear, I have um, just some more monomer and just containers in here that i use and then right next to it last but not least i do have my monomer so i do have my little three gallons of monomer that i currently have and then back there i do keep my lysol wipes i have some more backup back there and then i don't know if you guys can see but i do have a backup um little lysol spray so that's just what's in here and then like i did mention here is where i keep my more in bulk space so i have like my monomers and more just like my clear my nude acrylic and um like backup monomers and like backup storage in here so that is it for my little nail area desk tour i definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as do not forget to subscribe to my channel which do not forget to hit the bell so that way you also get notified every time i upload and also do not forget to follow me any of my social media make sure to go follow me on instagram tiktok all that good stuff the link will be linked down below so make sure to go check it out and also do not forget to check down below any of my discount codes so that way you guys could go ahead and save some money and also like i did mention do not forget to check out any of my other videos they will also be linked down below as well as throughout this one and again i hope that you guys enjoyed my 2022 nail desk tour definitely comment down below if you guys loved my setup and what you guys think about it or if you guys think i should change something definitely let me know down below in the comments your thoughts and opinions but for the most part here is my entire nail dust tour and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i ain't pray for these baguettes i pray for better days i ain't